Welcome back. Okay, so today we're going to do the husband tag. <laughs> Not my husband, <laughs> but brother-in-law. Yay. <laughs> so we're going to do the husband tag. I'm like the knowledge person today for whatever reason. So um, go, Lindsay, go. Okay, so this is my husband, Jonathan. Say hi. <laughs> and we have the husband tag. What is floss? I'm sorry, what? What is floss? What is floss? Um, those are the strings you buy to make art. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is floss to? Uh, it's basically YouTube for people who are really nerdy about art. Art? Well, this kind of art. Cross-stitching, yes. Or needle needlepoint, yes. What is a needle minder? Uh, it's a little, it's a magnet that, that uh, because needles are made of metal and, you know, physics and they stick together so you don't lose your needles in the caption and sit on them. Yes. <laughs> they hold your needles. They're magnets that hold your needles that you post on your work. <laughs> what is a UFO? A UFO. Um, <laughs> as far as I know... They're like little, little dots that appear in the sky. Presumably, they have aliens in them. Aliens? Aliens, them. yeah. Um, How about with cross-stitching? Do you know? No. No? I have no. Uh, un unidentified uh, fishing object. <laughs> yeah, we'll un go with that. Yeah. Unfinished object. So, it's usually a UFO is something that you started to stitch, and you've decided... I'm done stitching on this, and you put it aside now, for a long time. In, yeah, in my general <laughs> experience, I've seen these things put aside so long that you may not actually be able to identify them that would it's be, been so long. So that would be a UFO. Kind of unidentified. <laughs> what have you seen set aside? I'm oh, curious. Just handfuls of projects you got. Yeah, you know, all I know is that I've seen a heck of a lot more starts than I had finishes. <laughs> Maybe. Cannot confirm or deny that. <laughs> <laughs> what is a whip? Well, um, that's... Not a whip and nay nay, just a whip. Yeah, I was going to say it's the, the, the one... The whip? That, yeah. <laughs> I knew you were going Not there. Not this one, but the other one. <laughs> <laughs> With cross-stitching. All of these are... <laughs> no? No. A whip is a work in progress. I should have known that. Yeah, you should have. That's all the should. ones you see. Yeah, no, I, was, I, had, I had this image of Indiana Jones sort of in my brain right now, and he's got the thing, and there's snakes. <laughs> That's all I got. What about an FFO? Uh, okay, if the UFO was an unfinished object, I'm going to go with a... Was it FFO or FFFO? Because I'm thinking it's... Two F. F O. Are you sure it's not three Fs? Because that would be a finally freaking finish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are oh right. Yes. <laughs> that is that's accurate. It's a fully finished object. Fully, fully but finished. It's, it's not like just the cross stitching part. It's the whole thing, like on a frame or pillow or stocking. Stocking. It's fully finished. It's at its full completion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually rarer than UFOs. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, come no, on. not true. <laughs> <laughs> not around here, I don't think. I think I only have one UFO. Two. Two. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I have one. I'm going to say the bicycle and the yeah, unicorn. For sure for you. What about the fairy? I'm working on that stuff. That's a whip. That's that... a whip. I just worked on it's it. It's still like, in the rotation. Okay, I misunderstood. Then. It's I, still in the rotation. I misunderstood then because I figured anything that wasn't done with you. No, no. Which it's is like... a crap load of things. No, no. Those are whips. <laughs> Work oh. in progress. Work in progress. So we got a lot of whips. Yeah. We do have, we a, lot we have a lot of whips. Okay. Fair enough. A UFO is like set aside, probably never coming back. It might come back, in but years. you're mad at it, yeah. so it's staying over okay. there, and it's not in your rotation. It's, in it's grounded. It's grounded. <laughs> <laughs> what is a cell? 
A cell is sal. like a, a sal. S A L sal. Half a salad. Half a salad. <laughs> <laughs> Any, any. A sow is a stitch along. So the stitch watts that I was talking uh, about, yeah, okay. those are sows because okay. a group of people are doing something about the same thing. We all sit under a same set of rules or guidelines to um, accomplish whatever. So, so there's all kind. Yes, there's all kinds of different sows out there. If you check out the Facebook groups that we're in, um, that. We, I get caught up in very easily. So <laughs> I'm like, oh, look, this looks fun. Yeah, I'll join. And then I'm like, wait, what can I do? So a stitch mania would be a sow. A stitch okay. um, Oh, you should know this because when I came back, I just learned this at the retreat we went to. And when I came back, I was saying it a lot. So what is frogging? Frogging? Frogging. Is this not a PG level... Uh... It's PG. it's PG. I've been telling you what it meant. You remember. <laughs> That's uh, taking the thing out, right? Yeah. yeah. Why is it called frogging? Uh, rip it, rip it, rip yeah! it. Yeah! Rip it, rip, rip it. it. <laughs> I just learned that myself. Good job. Ada. What is Ada? That's the really crap material. <laughs> it's the really crap. Yeah, it's yeah. really crap material. That's why we have to buy the other Although one. there's a lot yeah. of people that like it. <laughs> so go, go you if you like Ada. Ada's good for something. Yes. Okay. okay. It's kind of like it's kind of like perforated paper, but a little bit softer, right? Smaller. Yeah. It's Ada. No, totally. Different. Perforated oh. paper is actual well, paper. I understand that it's not Ada actual is a cloth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it you is can, a cloth, but you it can has wash Ada. Holes. <laughs> you can wash Ada. You cannot wash perforated paper. You so. Could. I just it don't know if you would, necessarily want to. No, it yeah. would destroy it. Okay, next. <laughs> what is a skein? That's a whole bunch of string, like in a loopy thing. So we buy skeins, like all that stuff when yeah. we just bought. Yeah. Each one of those is a skein. Yes, yeah, a skein. Okay, okay, what is what is a haul? <laughs> what is a haul? This is a haul. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> what is even weave? Uh, it is the opposite thing of odd weave. <laughs> opposite thing odd. of odd. What would odd weave be? I don't know. Like uh, just, you know, the spaces. It, in one spot, it's got some number of holes. In another spot, it's got a different number of holes. And it's just not very well-made fabric. So even the weave holes would, wouldn't be even. Yeah, so even weave would be like better than odd weave, which would be not good to sew on. Okay, I think you did good. Yeah, even weave is a type of fabric that is woven <laughs> so that there are even holes throughout it. Not bad for a guess. Uh, yes, you did good. Okay. Yeah, not, not oh, good I wasn't even keeping points. Should we have to? Oh, yeah. Nah. <laughs> okay. I, I'm just gonna win. What are orts? Uh, those are the little bits of string that you cut off the ends of things and then you cram them in a little jar with and then you get mad when your husband comes along and smashes them all down to take up less space in the jar i don't know why yes <laughs> yes so that is what it is I looked it up. Um, yeah, exactly but a lot of some stitchers do what I'm planning to do with mine is to like use it as a stuffing for something later. Yeah. Maybe some maybe for the whole year and then make a Christmas ornament. Yeah. Every you, year with a year a, on it. You're it's a memorable. Need a, a crap ton of those to make a Christmas <laughs> ornament. Okay, so I do use my orts for stuffing as a Christmas ornament. Ort stands for old ratty thread. Oh, okay. Old ratty thread. So it's the pieces that we cut off when we're done with them, like when we're starting or stopping our thread. Usually stopping. Okay, PG. What? <laughs> you already have to say. What is railroading? Um, that would be when... Okay, I have to make up a new PG answer. Uh, <laughs> That is when you, instead of doing cross stitches, you do a bunch of, like, 
sideways stitches like railroad tracks. That's a good guess. I completely <laughs> made that up. That's a good guess. That would um, be like tent stitching, I think. Railroading is a technique used by stitchers to try to get our threads to lay smoothly. So we actually pull the needle through, like we're working with two threads. We pull the needle through the center of those two threads so that when you go down, it'll lay smoother. It's an alternative to using a laying tool. I understood exactly <laughs> zero of what you just said, but okay. I'll show you. Don't show me, show I'm them. Sure. So real, I don't know. Well, I'll okay. do it with my fingers. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna be a Kay. needle and then you can be a top. Look in the you come up the fabric. Fabric. Come up the fabric. Pull the string up. Pull the string up. Up the fabric. And then you go through <laughs> down in between the back string. to the fabric. Okay. <laughs> Next and that was all PG. <laughs> What is a biscornio? That is a French term that means um, front door. French? Yes. It probably is French. I don't know. It Maybe. might be French. Um, it likely. is an eight-sided cushion. Decorative cushion. So a stop sign so, cushion. Stop sign cushion. 3D. It's 3D not, I'm not eight-sided. Eight-pointed. It's... Sided, eight pointed. it's no. Yeah. You got a pointy, no. yeah, there's a pointy point. cushion. So you take two squares and you lay them like that or cross it. It's, a, it's a 3D thing. I don't have any to actually show you. But there's, so you take two squares. No, not Think right. Think of a fancy pin squares. cushion. Very fancy pin cushion that has eight points to it. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of random. Okay. <laughs> what is Krennic? That Krennic. is the... Name of the alien overlord who controls the UFOs, Lord Krennic. Lord Krennic. Sure. Lord Krennic. <laughs> Krennic is a metallic um, thread that's it's used to make it shiny. It's a brand. Mm -hmm. It is a brand. It is. Well, is it a brand or is shiny, it DMC? It's shiny. No, thread. it's its own brand. It's its own brand. I think it's own brand. Like these are DMC. Krennic. But it, they're just all metallic. It's all glitter. Metallic. Sparkle. Kind of like that. But but that's Petite that. Treasure Raid. But I use Petite <laughs> Treasure Raid, not Krennic. So we'll talk about that in a minute. It's very sparkly here in real life. I, I know it might not carry well over the camera. It's very it's, sparkly. It's quite sparkly. Yeah, you can't see it in real life. And there's that's, a whip. That's a very... That is a whip. That's a very fancy horse. It is. Sparkly. It's a sparkly little horse. Oh, I know you're going to get this. All right. Let's do it. Okay. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> what is two over one? A fantastic Saturday night. <laughs> two over No. <laughs> In cross-stitch. This is all cross-stitch. Two over one. Um, okay. It's uh, you, when you are doing two projects... When you do two starts instead of the one that you were already working on. <laughs> I've seen that happen. <laughs> two starts. It happened this week. <laughs> <laughs> do you have another answer? Another guess? Yes. I always, okay, go ahead. Uh, two, two threads across one thingy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two threads across so one you, thingy. <laughs> official description. <laughs> Because then they're costing. two threads over one hole on your fabric. So usually, like if you use Ada, you usually will go two over one if it's between fourteen and eighteen count. Two threads what? over one hole. Ada would be Ada? two over one. Would be an example. Sometimes even weave. This is one over one where I'm only using one thread over one hole on this even weave. So not one over All one. All right. Now. Um, you're making crosses though, so you need four holes to make a yes, cross. Yes, yes. That would be over one. Okay. If you have four holes, so that's over one. So then, so then you're talking you about go. two threads over one X, so that's two total. Or are you talking about two over each? Two set together. Of Why wouldn't that be four over one? Because. <laughs> I get what you're saying. Why are you ask weird questions? <laughs> I totally get it. No, um, it's how many threads you're doing. How many threads you're doing? One, not a four X. Because you actually don't always have to do a four X. 
You yeah. can do a tent stitch. Oh, I hope I'm not giving you an answer, which is just like a, a diagonal. Wouldn't that be a half ass cross stitch? No, it's the tent. No. Well, well, yeah, half stitch. It could be called a, a half stitch. It's a half stitch also. There's, um, I mean, like, then you have, like, black work where you're just doing lines. So, but I guess a cross stitch has always been X or your needlework embroidery stuff. Yes. So, but the two means two threads that you're going to put on your needle. And then how many times are you going over the fabric would describe the second number. Okay. So two threads on your needle versus two over one would be one times over. So this is an example of two over two because I'm going two holes. I'm skipping one and then going down the next one. This is an example of one over one. Okay. They can't. Maybe they really can't. One well, over one? They still can't. <laughs> Maybe we'll try to insert two a diagram. Two. The majority you know, of the people who are watching this know what that means. We use, <laughs> we use stuff in garages sometimes called pegboard, and I'm sure you've seen it, where you yes. like hang tools yes. and stuff. Maybe if you're doing like demonstrations explaining this to people that yes. don't know it, get yourself a little piece of pegboard with some giant like yarn yes. to be able to explain stuff like that. Very smart. So... Maybe a future tutorial. I spend a lot more time in garages than with uh, sewing supplies. <laughs> Cross stitch. <laughs> what is a Q-snap? It is a it is a decent frame design, but I think I think I could do better. I think you can too. I think it's that would probably be more a, a hoop design though, right? Than yeah. Frame. I think it would be considered a hoop. A square hoop? Yeah. A square hoop. Made out of sections of PVC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty familiar with those. What is a guard. grime guard? A grime guard is when you show up to a rap battle and everybody likes you so they don't have anything negative to say and they're they're not going to get grimy with you yeah, grime like, in guard. terms of like... <laughs> what about with stitching? I have no idea. Q-snap. I got the snap. And then here's your grime guard. You'd put this oh, over. Oh, uh, it's the frilly thing that goes yeah, on the outside. The pretty okay. fabric. So your fabric doesn't get grimy for my hands. I guard it from the grime. grime do you guard. not like wash your hands before you? Oh, I do totally. But just in case. I mostly have seen that as a catcher of loose threads <laughs> that are falling around. <laughs> That's what I do. I, we have a big one, a big Q snap stand, and I. Sit my scissors in there, and then when I cut the threads, I shove it in there, there. Just right in there, and then it, when I'm taking it off, you know, I scoop it all up into the ore jar. So it is, <laughs> it is a temporary ore jar. For me. For me. Not not, not most stitchers. I, I, I don't I use think it I, as that. <laughs> I think I should get credit for that one. You do. <laughs> but not the rap battle part. Okay. That's like minus credit. <laughs> half, half, half a credit. Half a credit. Works. What are you doing? Doing a high five. No. Okay. <laughs> Weakest high five. Half a credit high five. Oh, half a credit. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, what, sure. is, what is a hade? A hade. 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 I don't know. What about H-A-E-D? Oh, heaven and earth, right? Heaven yeah. and earth designs. That's your day. The, the ridiculously large, full coverage. Like set aside five years of your life. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That would be it. And we love them. <laughs> we do love them. Okay, what is parking? Well, you parking. take your car and then you put it in the line, and then you go into the stitchy store and buy things. <laughs> Get some haul. <laughs> so it's like parking. Okay, I feel you. Parking is a technique that people use to... Lindsay is doing that on her J with all the loose all the threads, threads that are in its place when she goes to the next all square. Of the, all of the extra threads that are hanging out in the grime guard. <laughs> <laughs> so, that are not cut <laughs> off yet. <laughs> they're not or so, they're not old ratty threads yet. But <laughs> so all of, all of the future orts are parked in the grime guard. Well, they're also future stitches. <laughs> so that's cool. That's going to be a future... Okay. Yeah, yeah. You park your thread. Why would you park a thread? So you don't have to tie it off as often. And you can, for like the heaven and earth that's full coverage, you can just keep 
going with it. Well, I mean, if you're done stitching all the little red X's in an area, why wouldn't you just cut it off, tie it off? You can, and several people do that. I choose to park. (laughs) It's a technique so that when you go to the next square, you usually don't want to cut it off yet because you're not going to travel very far if you work one square at a time. One 10 by 10 square at a time. Or 20 by 20. Or, or, yeah. <laughs> so people have usually, not usually, there's a lot of people <laughs> me and Lindsay included we will work a 10 by 10 square and then we have a bunch of thread left over. And instead of cut, tying it off and then restarting it when we get to the very next square we just take it over the next to the next stitch that we were going to do if we weren't coming back to our 10 by 10 that's not finished. Now, this would so be something you would do on, like, a crazy complicated design. Like, like a hay. That, usually. Yeah. Usually, okay. yeah. Yeah. I mean, some people do exclusive part. It just depends on their technique. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. It's just, it's what works for people. And so, like, okay. I don't. I don't park on anything except my really So, hates. since they weren't keeping score, I hereby declare <laughs> that I passed the test with flying colors, and uh, <laughs> I'm now officially a member of the cross-stitching brigade. Yeah. Agreed. League. Okay. Determined. Determined. Yay. So, let's get on with this uh, video. What are we talking about next, ladies? Um, okay, so it was my birthday. <laughs> woo, woo. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a couple weeks ago. Um, and these two got me this awesome light. <laughs> little cool light. Uh, that Sherry actually showed off at the stitching retreat. Lindsay bought one for herself. I bought one for my husband. That's true. I, have one. One. I now have one in the shop for when, uh-huh. when I need to look at tiny things. He has and one now in the shop. he has her. And I got one as well. And then my in-laws, my mother and father-in-law, bought me a brand new sewing machine. It's computerized, and it does some other fancy embroidery. Um, it totally beats the old one that I had. I had the, I was the one who went to quilting class and had the sewing machine that was definitely much older and <laughs> had less bells and whistles than anybody else in the class. So now I have one that's like theirs. It's really nice. <laughs> as a machine guy who knows absolutely nothing about sewing machines, it's uh I gotta say it's legit. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty legit. It's pretty neat. It has little it has like buttons. It does have buttons. <laughs> they like tried to button. get they tried to get me to work it. They go you make, did the, it. make the needle go up and down and so I sat there and pushed the button that makes the and needle go down like, and then up, up and then <laughs> instead of using the pedal. I could have okay. I could have sewed. And because we said Put the needle down, thinking then he could push the pedal. He had his foot on the pedal, but he sat there and pushed up, <laughs> he down, up, up, down, <laughs> up, down, and so he had a good little trunk. <laughs> it was fun. Um, yeah, and so within the last two weeks, I had zero quilts that I was working on, mm-hmm. and now I have two. <laughs> so, yeah. Two starts <laughs> two, instead of two one starts. So, yeah. Well, I have some other starts, Two over too. one there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, did that, and then as far as cross stitching, wait, we're on stash. Uh, it's just birthday. Yeah, go stash. 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 Okay, y'all. They had the four for a dollar at Joanne's, and so my crazy self decided because I only had fifteen. <laughs> 15 threads, so I decided I wanted all of them. You had 15 skeins. Skeins. You're right. <laughs> 15 skeins, so I decided I wanted all of them. And. And. <laughs> and. <laughs> oh, no kidding. Okay. So I'm just going to go really quickly through how I'm trying to organize them. Obviously, I'm not done yet. Um, I did, I got the, I also had a 50% off coupon, so I was able to get the card. Um, And so on the back, I marked, I used it to mark which ones I had, which I have all but two now. And what I did. (laughs) <laughs> what I did was um, I bought these index cards from Walmart. They were 48 cents. I got 500 of them. I only have this much left to go. And um, 
So I used the index card and put the name on them or number. You know, they're not all numbered. And we're putting the skein in the back. And um, that's how I'm making it. <laughs> I have a very long receipt there. Do you know who uh, didn't go through this quickly? Who? The cashier. And oh, you. <laughs> no, I, I was actually really nice. They helped her out. I got all the barcodes facing the right way, but she was the sweetheart. They did have a sign that said a limit, but none of their corporate advertisements had that sign. So I went up there and they rang them up. And I had to go back to a different Joanne to get this much more. But I have them. This is taller than I am. I know. <laughs> it was an amazing, amazing deal. I saved a ton of money. And I will have every color for every project. This is taller than Shaq is. <laughs> <laughs> I have them right now. I have them um, like kind of rubber band because they're slipping, slipping everywhere. Um, so I did like 100. 200, 300. I have all the way to 900 and something. The, the last 900, I still have all the four digits, the three O's. And I still have a lot of, this one is all, I still have a lot of sorting to do. But that was my amazing, amazing haul. This way. <laughs> amazing haul. I'm so excited. And I can start, I can start anything. And so the idea is you're going to start something without having to wait to buy thread. Yes. And then when you take the thread out of the thing, you replace the mm -hmm. thread that you took out of the thing. So I'm going to start. I have a new start tomorrow for our stitch watts. Um, and then I'm using this thread. Excellent. So I took the thread out and I put the date and the project there. So I'll know where it's at. Um, and then if I use the whole skein, I just replace that one skein as we go. So, I mean, you don't really use the whole skein very often. So now I just need a, you know, a 42 cent purchase instead of trying to kit something up really expensive. And that four for a dollar sale, it was just awesome. That's almost half off of everything. So I think I got all of this for about 100 which is amazing because if you're buying the full sets online, some of them go up to 300 something. So I'm very happy and impressed. She said the day at Joann's. <laughs> I did. I, went, I was able to go twice and with both sisters. Yes, our other sister was in town. And she had a she start. She had a start. We need to it's show right her there. Where is it? <laughs> she finally caved and said, okay, give me something to work on. And we said, okay, pick. We handed her, oh my gosh. There was, was a frenzy. We, we had fun. <laughs> a frenzy. There was a frenzy. <laughs> a feeding Here. frenzy. Here. <laughs> Try this one. No, get Both this kids. thread. What about this fabric? And I think it was a little uh, much it for was... her to take in with me and Heidi throwing stuff at her. <laughs> so your sister lives in Florida and we are in Texas. Yes. And... Uh, I, she didn't seem particularly interested in continuing the work. No. And so I think this particular thing may have set a record going <laughs> from a start to a UFO. Yeah. Pretty dang quick. It, hurt, it ended up really um, hurting her eyes, but she started with this like oh, glitter fabric. Which was our fault. Our fault. So it's an Ada, which our I thought was going to be okay. But then there's metallic in it. It's opalescent. It's not yeah, really even see. opalescent. Like, it's, that metallic is really It's opalescent, yeah. <laughs> it's a gold It's a gold sparkle in the white Ada. And it was, like, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night. It was dark. <laughs> and we had, a, like, a whole Thanksgiving so, already. We yeah. went up early cooking. Yeah. She cooked. She helped She helped me cook and everything. And then she, was, she saw us just chilling and stitching and she finally was like okay fine I guess I'll try it and we went crazy she picked out an ornament um out of 2011 just cross stitch it's a snowman uh it's a snowman snowflake so she started it <laughs> now, um, if I were to try and guess what this was, 
without <laughs> having seen the pattern, I probably definitely would have said that that was like a whale tail coming out of the water or something. A whale tail. Okay. <laughs> it's a scarf. It's a blue scarf. It's a oh, for the snowman. Making, it's the beginnings of a blue scarf for the snowman. <laughs> His chin is right here. That's the white. So she started with white, on white, with opalescence. Yeah. At night. Bad choice. It was really we bad. We made cho- bad choices that night. <laughs> we made really bad choices. We were, we were even having Thanksgiving. Oh. <laughs> oh I don't God. even cross this. I said give her the cheap fabric and some just black. Yeah. Yeah. Pattern. We really yeah. should have done that. Yeah. He's always the smart one. <laughs> so I think we scared her away. We hope we didn't. If you're watching this, Carrie, we come love back, you. Carrie. Come back. <laughs> Please come back. We'll we'll get you a better project. <laughs> we're uh, beginner well, she, friendly. <laughs> she told me a story about how she doesn't watch our YouTube channel because True. she was in a chat with us two and our dad and our brother, and we were joking about my tits cross stitch, and my dad. Well, he w- he watched our video, and he messaged, oh, hey, Lindsay, I saw your tits on YouTube. She misunderstood. <laughs> she she was literally. in the chat, and then she was like, why would I watch their YouTube channel if that's what Lindsay's doing? <laughs> and so she did not want to, after my dad said, you should go watch their channel, and she's like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see that. So she gets here, and I show her, and she sees it and, just, like, almost dies. I'm just like, oh, my gosh, I have the funniest story to tell you. So maybe she'll watch now that she knows we're PG. <laughs> Mostly. 13. <laughs> PG 13. <laughs> so, new start from our sister, who said, yeah, I'm done with this. Here you go. <laughs> when- after about an hour, she's mm-hmm. like, I can't. My eyes are dying. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah. she did make it pretty far for she just did. an hour, and it looks really nice, Carrie. She did. She got some really good. You didn't even have to frog. She didn't. No, she did a couple of times. Oh, did she? Yeah, but that's okay. It was counting issues. That's cool. <laughs> um, so that's what Carrie did, and then mm-hmm. I worked on Stitch Watts. So as you've already seen, this is my first whip that I'm going to show. I'm working on the crest for Puffle Stitch House, um, one over one. I'm using Petite Treasure Braid for the to fill the horse in and black. And then I have a Mosel um, Banana Split that I'm going to do for the yellow for the crest. Um, so that's my first whip from last week. The monthly for Stitch Watts in November was something that you're thankful for. And I chose to work on Pandora's box because it has a bunch of different techniques in there and I'm thankful that I can learn new techniques. So that was my progress that I made. I've already put this up for the month. I'm pretty much done with it. Um, I got well over 2,000 in there and I'm just, yeah, I have too much going on. So this is going to be put away for a little while. It's not a UFO. It is still a whip. It's in my rotation. It's, it's not out of this rotation. month's rotation. I, it's still in a rotation. It's just it's time to move on to another project, and I'll come back out when it comes back up in the rotation again. Um, and then last week was family. family, family. So for my family, the I'm making I'm doing the Advent animals for my son. Um, hopefully next. Christmas, I will have a quilt with all the ad, uh, Brooks Books Advent animals. And so I worked on Remy Rabbit, and that's how far I got up, up to last night. And so it's not finished, obviously. I have a lot more to do on that one. Um, not a whole lot more, but I didn't finish it last night. I tried. <laughs> and then today I start. It was the start for ornaments. This week's This week is ornaments, so I started the next one which is the giraffe, and I just, that's what I got in today, for today. <laughs> I did for my family last week, I worked on this one, which is Heidi's Advent Animal. Um, I just did some extra work, I kind of just got this back part in the belly there, done in and around. Um, but yeah, it's her. It's the same Advent animal I did. Um, it's kind of like a round robin in a, a way within her. It's her stuff, her everything. I'm just stitching it. 
Just, yeah, just stitching that. So one. I did that, um, and I haven't. I wasn't doing the monthly, and for this next week, the ornament starting. I'll start tomorrow. I am gonna do the Brooks book, Brooks book, Mister and Mrs. C ornament on the perforated paper of gold. Um, and then looking forward for December's. Uh, monthly challenge is winter wonderland and i had a new purchase as well i had i can't not buy something when lindsay bought a whole pail full of stuff so <laughs> this is <laughs> oh blame it on me i know she weren't even with me i'm like this is before i bought my pail <laughs> You're already true okay whatever <laughs> anyways um, this has been on my wish list for over a year and I keep seeing, I kept seeing it at Hobby Lobby. I was at Hobby Lobby and it was there again and I said, yeah, I'm getting this. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. It was the last one on the rack and it was still there. So I'm like, this needs a home. This is by Joan Elliott uh, or Design Works, The 12 Days of Christmas. And I was really, okay, this came with Ada, which is why Jonathan said it's the really crappy fabric because <laughs> it came with Ada and I'm like, I am not about to stitch this on Ada. So I pulled uh -huh. out the fabric that Courtney gave me at the retreat. It's the 28 count Jobelin Sandcastle. And I was really worried it wouldn't fit. So I did the stitching all the way across and all the way down to the bottom on the outside frame just to make sure that it would um, that it would fit. So um, I'm setting this aside until December 1st, and then December 1st I'm going crazy. Is I that your, is that, um, this will be my monthly Winter Wonderland challenge. Is that your needle minder from Sherry as well? It is. Aww. Yes. So sweet. Thank you, Sherry. So, yeah. I got a little square, and I went across the top and across the bottom to make sure that the stitching that it will fit. So I think that's it. That's it for now. We'll be back in a couple of weeks. Thank you, Jonathan. So, but real quick though, before we leave, uh, sure. now that we're the cross stitching, did I say brigade or lead? Brigade. You said brigade. brigade. Now that we're the cross stitching oh, okay. brigade, is there? Do we get like a cool theme song? Or anything like that. Are you going to be joining this for more videos? Uh, I don't know. It depends on how the the level of coolness of our like entry <laughs> and exit themes. Like, can we can we incorporate maybe like explosions? Maybe we'll have to talk. But I would definitely like to thank you for joining yes. our video today. If, um, if nothing catches on fire, like ever, I, I may <laughs> I may sit a few out. Okay. Okay. We we generally try to avoid fire. <laughs> Fabric no. fire. No. It looks like really good. No. Yeah. Speaking of fire and Jonathan, I'm gonna show this. It's not cross stitching. But look what he made. Oh, yes. This was my other birthday present. <laughs> Why? How did I forget this? He burned so. He burned fire. He thing. totally made that. I uh, hear. I hear it was popular in the 1970s. Like, leave it to me to bring that back. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. So Ravenclaw. He even said from one Ravenclaw to another. I took the. I went online. There was a like a little test that you take. You fill out little questions yes. about, you know, what would you do in various situations and stuff and. It's from the, the Harry Potter universe website thing, and I got a Ravenclaw, and she got I, the same I result. I am also a Ravenclaw. And, uh, you know, so I made her a thing. It's a craft, not cross-stitching, but super cool craft. Cool. Um, What's it called? It's Pyro fun to watch. Pyrography. Pyrography. That's wood, wood burning. Yeah. Um, you are definitely welcome back on our... Okay, Lots well, too. I may stop in from time to time. For sure. So, until it. next time, we're the Cross Stitching Brigade. Bye. Bye, guys.